Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to fix this error which may occur with phpMyAdmin. So the error is no connection could be made because the target machine actively refused it. So this error means either MySQL is not running or phpMyAdmin is using a different port number than the port number of MySQL. So here we can see that MySQL is using this POR number 3307, which is not the default POR number. So the default POR number is 3306. So to fix the error of phpMyAdmin, we have either to change this POR number and to use the default POR number, or also we have to configure phpMyAdmin to use this POR number. So if you want to change this port number and to use the default port number, then you have first to stop MySQL, then you have to click on config, then my.ini. And here we need to find the MySQL server and we need to change this port number and to use the default port number, which is 3306. But in this video, I will show you how to configure phpMyAdmin to use this POR number. So we have just to click on config here, then browse phpMyAdmin. And here we have to open this file, it is called config.inc.php. So this is the configuration file of phpMyAdmin. And we can see that phpMyAdmin will connect using the root user and will not use any password. So here we can see that we will connect to the MySQL server which is available on the local machine. But we can see that we don't have the configuration of the POR number. This means that phpMyAdmin will use the default POR number which is 3306. But because we are not using the default POR number, then we have to configure this POR number in this file. So let's copy this line and let's paste it just here. Now let's change the key and let's write POR. Then here let's write the POR number of my SQL, which is 3307. Now let's save this file. And let's refresh the browser. And this time we can see that we don't have the error anymore. Now I will show you how to use the default port number of MySQL. So here we need to stop MySQL. Then let's click on config, then my.ini. Then here let's change this value, so it is under the MySQL server. So let's change the port number and let's use the default port number. Now let's save this file and let's close it. Now let's configure phpMyAdmin, so let's click on config, then browse phpMyAdmin, then let's open this file, and then we can delete this line, because phpMyAdmin will connect to the default port number, which is 3306. Now let's save this file. Now let's start the MySQL service. Then let's go to phpMyAdmin, so let's click on Admin. So here we can see that we are connected to the database and we don't have the error anymore. 